points. Now it's all bad. Uh, everything's bad. So the fact that uh, I bring home a check every week is no good anymore. The fact that I love my kids and listen, I listen. Do you, do you know why can. you're doing this, by the way? Let what? me help you out. I don't know why I'm doing it because I'm a no, guy and I'm no, 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 no. Why why doing it? Doing it? Because, stop. because his wife filled up and said it'd be it'd be better than being humiliated all the time, and she was at the point of tears. So he has to run away from that because that's what happened with his father and his mother. Mm. Right. And instead of saying to her. <clears throat> Does that remind you of stuff? I mean, you've been humiliated in, before. You know, how, I'm sorry. How did I make you feel? You should fuck her on the couch right now. <laughs> well, Dr. <laughs> Keith so. can have her right now. <laughs> Which, are you having fantasies about Dr. Keith? I am. I am. You are, aren't you? What do you do with Dr. Apple when you're a doctor like you and you get a hot little piece of ass on the couch like this? You ever say, hey, maybe you, I have a You always know it's not about you. It's always about the dynamic with the couple. It would be a good, good moment to jump our bones. Really? I'm telling you, but honestly, you own her soul. The moment that you realize that he is irrelevant, this guy, this 143 guy, irrelevant. The bottom line is she can talk to him till the cows come home. There'll be another 143 right. guy. It doesn't matter. Shut the I know down. that. I know that, and things have been going a lot. I mean, it seems to be going a lot better. I mean, we're getting along better. Uh, I think we are, but it's treat her like a broad mm. that you're trying to get in her pants. Yeah, why don't Start you that. do that? So yeah. You know what it does. Think, exactly. With a steak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Since you know how to work her, why don't you work her? If you love her, why don't you work her? Hey, dude, last night I put my head on her chest. She goes, it's like a fucking boulder. Get off of me. Well, so you tell me. So you got to start with some bullshit. You know you got to start with some bullshit and tell her, uh, you know, tell her how hot she is and then tell her, uh, tell her how, 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 how nice everything is. I call her beautiful right, every day. This is oh, a disaster. Cool. And she, listen, she gave him an opening. She said, I say, I say let's emotional. go to Bloomingdale's. Get it. You know, maybe you Take call her. her from next door to Bloomingdale's from you know some what? beautiful hotel. She's a hot chick. Take her to Bloomingdale's and shop with her. Turn Absolutely. Her I don't have to take her to Bloomingdale's. She does it behind my back on her own. Go with her. Go with her. Go with her. Today's exercise. Go with her after the show. Listen to me. Okay. And, and tell her, I yep. want you to buy a hot outfit. I want to watch you try it on. Yeah. And her exercise for me, Howard, back. Blow you. And guess what? No, and guess what? what? No. With the outfit no, on? No, she doesn't have to blow you. <laughs> but maybe she wants to. With the outfit on, have her go out Don't first alone. Yes. And have him meet her, but she has to be flirting with someone at the bar oh. when he gets there. There you go. Make it hot. Get your mega phone. Some guys yeah. take it to Bob, Christine. Uh, Run right into your fear. Emotional fun. What do you think? Get there, right into your fear. Uh, and if you're going to get an outfit, Christine, you need a red one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, I get her a diamond necklace that says 143, and I'd order it today. That's right. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like your style. All right. He wanted go. to get a tattoo, and I said, oh, I'll get 143, and he got so mad. No. I love that. That's great. You should get the 143, too. Make a joke of it a little bit, but say together, you're in on. I should get Dr. Avalon, you've done it again. This is a joke. Dr. Avalon, you've done it again. You, 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 you have taken an hour and a half from our show. You've done it again, Dr. Avalon. I don't know what he did. a paycheck from Howard TV to fucking Howard's P.O. Box. That's what you've done. I'm still in a miserable goddamn marriage. Well, Christine, Look, next time we're dressed on. Do you want to keep working on it? We'll keep working on it. You want to work on it some longer, no. too? Yes. Yes. What? That is no quick thing. Wait a wow. second. Wait, what did you say, Dr. Ablo? No, yeah, I why said did you, you say what? Well? Uh, because I know that they are poised at a moment where they're, she has opened the door again. What does he do? He says, no. you got to both say yes at the same time. I did say yes. I say yes every day. Hey, Sal, uh, he what? just asked you, do you guys want to work on this some more with him? And you went no. Yeah. no. Because we're going, we're spinning. I feel we're going. All to right, shit. that's your answer. What do you mean? That's yeah. why she's got an emotional friend. Good luck, Christine. Am I right, right or wrong? <laughs> hey, let me. And hey, let's ask her. Do no, you right. want to continue with them? Neither one of you guys. I would. I would continue. She would. All right, go ahead. Ask the next question, Doc. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, 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 we have, oh, I thought you meant now. I do. Oh, we'll do. We'll have no, no, dinner right. and we'll go through this. Off the air, absolutely yes. Unequivocally yes. I'm sorry. Okay, we just had a misunderstanding. All right, a little misunderstanding. Now we understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me. I'm a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, doctor. First of all, emotional friend, thank you for calling in. I know that was difficult for you. I know this is very emotional for me, sir. Doctor uh, Avila, your book, Living the Truth, Transform Your Life Through the Power of Insight and Honesty, is in stores now, and obviously everyone now is going to go get it because they see what you're up to. Yeah. And, and please, how can I say something? Uh, uh -oh. To everybody out there, young couples, you know. <laughs> what? You have advice for young couples? No, no, no. I really do. I really do. No, he's in a good position to give advice, what actually. Advice? What is the advice? He is my in a good position. Is, I hope my son is listening. <laughs> yeah, what is the advice? 
you, I know you have those feelings. I know you're in love. I know you're saying to yourself, this is it. This is it. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if my best friends are talking me out of it. Listen to me. Reach down deep inside and don't get married. That's the best advice yeah. I could give you. Because, wow. but that doesn't mean I'm not happy with my marriage. <laughs> but the, 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 point that, the point that I'm trying to say to you is that <laughs> marriage, is nuts. we live in an environment and a culture <laughs> where we have developed... My emotional friend here to pick me up. Yeah, <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you read that in your emotional friend. Yeah. Really? I'm right outside. I got, I got my car back. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've developed this thing in our life that we feel like, for some reason, we have to shack up with one person and you know it's like being confined with a roommate you can't get so rid get of. out of it no i don't want it but no because I, but the thing is that if i can if i can give any advice out there believe me believe me just stay in love but don't get married that's all is that what you tell your sons you, oh, are you kidding me? That's good. Well, my son's turn 18. We're going to Tijuana. I'm going to show him how to be a man real quick. Oh, wow. I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them no, what women oh are really made of. <laughs> you're out of your it's mind. It's okay. Oh, no, no, no. You should look. So you're going to humiliate. You're going to stay in a bad marriage and humiliate. Continue to humiliate your, humiliate your wife the way your father did. Not yet. how? He's, re how? he's you reenacting. Did you yeah. just did it. I'm going to teach my sons what love is really all about. So what do you think you're saying to Christine? What are you saying to Christine? Now all the anger suddenly comes out. You're telling us now you're going to teach your sons that that women suck, that you should keep moving on to the next one. That's the message. And the fact that and they're going to go, well, aren't you married to mommy? Never lock yourself in with one. I'm saying this to mommy's an asshole. No, I'm saying this to women too. I'm saying to people. I think we would all get along better if nobody got married. That's you. Well, no, so I believe you're it. telling Christine when you asked her so to marry So you're telling you everyone that it was a mistake to marry? And gave her that ring. No. You made the biggest mistake of your life. This is That's a huge, you and you're going to tell your sons think, you made I, a huge it, mistake. It just spent an hour. I think there's, right. I think there's but, more but, hardships in marriage. Yeah. I'm losing sight of what's going yeah, on. So yeah. you made the biggest, you're going to tell your sons the biggest mistake in your life was getting married. No. Their mother. I'm saying there's more hardships in marriage than there is. Wait, 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 wait. The word he's leaving out is bad marriage, Sal. Those rules apply to a bad marriage, not a good one. This is such a good doesn't exist. You're, lying. you're going to tell yourself there's no such thing as a good marriage, but you're married. You just haven't seen it. I'm trying. I love my wife, and I want it to be a good marriage, but there's so many hardships. I'm like, don't even bother stepping into that. Why bother? All right. You know we why? Gotta end this. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I got to end this because you're being helpful. I don't want to ask questions. Yeah, go ahead. This is call number 14. I got one next question. Christine, uh, my 10 o'clock EF loves the view. Where'd you put the clicker? <laughs> we got it. We thank you very much, everyone. I want to also thank uh, Ben Stiller's new movie, Love and Marriage. Oh, that's going to be funny. If you like this, then you'll love this movie, The Heartbreak Kid in theaters this Friday. We'll take a break. Sarah Silverman is here. I'm getting backed up. Christine, thank you for Robin, coming. Robin, why do you look so disappointed?